Nuri Kabe. It is a big yokai that likes to block people's path with its body by making it look like a dead end. You can try climbing over it or even going around it, but you will never be able to pass through. Apparently, the only way for you to pass through it, that is, if you really feel like you're actually going the right way and there's no such thing as turning back in your life's dictionary, you could try kicking the wall on its lower left corner where it is said would make it disappear. Mokumokuren In traditional Japanese homes, you would have paper screens for the walls and doors. You know, shoji screens. Well, a mokumokuren is a haunted shoji screen. If the screen is damaged and is not patched up, countless eyeballs would start to form on the screen and would start staring at you, especially at night. The smokumokuren are pretty helpless and quite harmless as you can pluck the eyes out of the screen one by one if you want to and they would still do nothing but stare at you as told in one of the lores. To stop them from regrowing or staying on the screens, the only thing you need to do is patch the shoji screen so that there are no more holes in it. Easy peasy. Akateko. This literally means the red-handed child. It is not a story about a kid with red hands, but it is about a child's hand all bloody red just dangling on a tree. This is a form of yokai that does nothing but creep you out. The tree would be there like any other tree just being there. Then the red hand might suddenly drop or it would be dangling there from the start. There's not much about the sakateko or even how the hand is dangling, but we do know that it originated from the Aomori prefecture in the city of Hachinoe. Kamaitachi they look like weasels with a sickle-like claw on its paw. They would travel in threes and would move very fast while riding a whirlwind that you would not be able to see them. The three weasels have their own task to do. The first one would make the human fall, the second would cut the human with its sharp claws, and the third would put its magical medicine on the wounds so that none of the cuts are fatal for the victim. So. If you trip during a windy day and found that you have cuts on your legs and that's not bleeding, you might just be one of the victims, the kamaitachi. Hitan momen. It's just a long piece of cloth flying in the wind at night. No face, no nothing. It looks just like a piece of flying cloth, but be careful because it has a tendency to just wrap around you and you would either get choked to death or smothered to death. Is it a lonely piece of cloth just wanting to do its job? Or is it actually sadistic and wants to choke people to death? Because in some lores, there are stories where it would gladly let people wear it if the person has gained its trust. For me, I want to believe that it's just misunderstood.